Coca-Cola is not necessarily seeing a lot of action at the moment, but it did earlier today. It's something that our Brian Sazi flagged, and it has to do with Cristiano Ronaldo, the soccer placer, player. Take a look. Coca-Cola. So in case you missed that, a couple of Cokes sitting in front of him, moves him to the side very deliberately, holds up this bottle of water, says, agua. Brian Sassi, that was enough to send the shares down, although they've come back since then. Agua. Agua for life. But yes, this is not a good look. And we flagged this last, we flagged this last week, uh, Coca-Cola starting to become a potential meme stock. Now, I don't expect it to be uh, extremely volatile. It's not going to turn into an AMC or a BlackBerry or a GameStop anytime soon. But it is a stock that the meme crowd has started to talk about on Wall Street Bet. So I'm not surprised, given that visibility that started last week when the meme stocks were, were rallying, to see it being the top trending ticker on Yahoo Finance right now. Uh, really, under the you know under the assumption, I would suspect that Ronaldo, who has 400 million social media followers on Instagram and Twitter combined. Maybe that message he just sent to the world on the world stage to not drink Coca-Cola products, maybe drink water instead because it's healthier. Does that impact sales? Unclear, wildly unclear, but at least that's how the market is reading at it today. I think the bigger picture, though, is that Coke's business does continue to recover, especially as live events are reopening. I, I suspect you'll hear some more of that language when Coke reports in a couple weeks, guys. A couple of, a couple of takeaways here. Uh, first... Euro 20, is it Euro 2020? I guess technically the branding is Euro 2020, even though it's 2021. Uh, reminder, soccer, football, massively popular internationally, and obviously we forget about that here in the US. So uh, when Ronaldo coming off Portugal's win yesterday says something at a press conference, it's a huge story. Now, the reason this became a story is I believe both The Guardian and The Telegraph running a headline saying that Ronaldo's move there, pushing the, the Coke bottles to the side in his press conference, uh, cost the company $4 billion, something to this effect, which gets to another kind of pet, it's not a peeve, I mean, it is what it is, but um, the market capitalization, market capitalization, however you want to say it, I think capitalization is probably better, of all kinds of financial data, like the stock market gained $10 billion in value, stock market you know, passes seven trillion in value for the first time, Bitcoin moves to X billion market cap, whatever it is, is just a, like, I don't remember that framing on every piece of stock move. I don't know if you guys feel like this is a new development as well, but ev talking about everything in terms of how much market cap is gained and lost feels like a new innovation. And I don't know, it, it just is a weird way to frame this kind of story. I mean, Coke shares were down like three tenths of 1%, but framing it as a $4 billion loss because he pushed over the Coke bottles. It's just a strange framing, even though, Technically, like, yeah, I guess they lost $4 billion in market cap, but I mean, the market cap goes up and down a billion dollars all the time, Saz. It just feels like a, it just feels like a weird framing on, on the whole story. <laughs> Miles, you, you can appreciate this. Large round numbers, uh, usually over a billion dollars or, you know, over 500 million. They just click well. Hate to say it. It's just how it goes in the business. I, look, yeah, we're waiting for Dow 30, well, Dow 36,000 is really the milestone we're waiting for. And we have Kevin Hassett on to talk about that. But yeah, I mean, look, we love the round numbers. It just talking about everything in market cap terms. I don't know. It feels weird. Well, and the stock is back to flat now. Right. It's like, who cares? The stock did not move. This is not actually a market mover for Coke. Like, to be clear, this is not a material impact on the company's stock. But now it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, everyone's going to see this video. I mean, this is I don't think this ticker. is going to cause them to warn our <laughs> earnings. I, I don't see Coke out here warning on their full year guidance because of this. But again, the market is real time. It's forward looking. That's what the market does.